Hello everybody, this is Tyler here with Candlelit Crime Scene. I've got another tutorial, this time with FL Studio 11. And we'll be covering very basic things in FL Studio 11, but I'll try to cover some of the questions I've seen asked in my other basic tutorial. First, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what we'll be creating in the end, and quickly go through Create It, explain what I'm doing, and how you can create the same effect. Alright, here it goes. And I will begin this tutorial right now. First thing we'll do is click on the FL Studio 11 icon that you should have gotten on your desktop if you downloaded it. Uh, even if you open it up for the first time, this is what you should see. Something very similar to this, completely blank. The first thing we'll do is click out of this. Here you can see I'm using the demo version. I've got nothing else going on. And a lot of you were asking, how do I get the tracks up when I'm getting into FL Studio? I think last time I already had them up. What you'll do is go up where it says View Playlist. Uh, it's flashing right now as I'm hovering over it. I go ahead and left click. You'll see it pops up over here on my right hand side. Some people like to leave it here and add things on the left. I personally like to hover over it to where it shows this double arrow thing. Hold down left click and drag it over to the far left. That's just how I like to lay this out. Uh, if anybody wants to change it up, doesn't really matter. Next thing I usually like to do is bring up my step sequencer. That's uh, flashing now here at the top. If you go ahead and left click on that, it'll bring up a pretty basic kick, clap, hat, and snare. I'll just give you an idea of what that sounds like. You know, just pretty basic sounds. First thing I will do is go over here to the left hand side where it says packs and go ahead and left click on that. And left click on legacy left click on drums, which is a little different, left click on hip hop. This is the sound I'm going to make, as I showed you before, it's a bit more of a hip hop sound. So hip hop's located within the drum section, which is in Legacy, which is in PAX, should all be there on the left hand side of your screen. The first thing I like to do is left click on the hip kick and hold that down, hold the left click button down as you're dragging over it. You'll see it does the same thing FL Studio 10 did. So you drag it up here into the kick section. Now it's going to sound exactly what I did a second ago, which was the the four kicks, but uh, it's a totally different kick now. It's more of a hip hop sound. So I will go ahead and add the kick. I will go ahead and add the snare here. I want the hip snare, not the basic snare that came with it. I will add the snap sound instead of the hat. And the last thing I think I added was a little bit of this hat. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and add that all in there. So hip kick hip hat, hip snap, and hip snare. So the next thing I'll go ahead and do is set up the same pattern sequence that I used when displaying what I was gonna do in this tutorial. Go ahead and right click to delete lit buttons and left click to add them back. I'm gonna go ahead and right click to delete these other two and set up the same beat that I had for the kick. And if I wanna see what that sounds like right now, I go up here to the play button, which is located towards the top. I'll go ahead and left click that. The next thing I'll go ahead and do is add that snap that I had on there here and that was pretty much it. I also had the snare so I'll go ahead and left click to add the snap and the snare. Final thing I did was add some hats. Quick way to do what I did was just go ahead and right click so hover over the hip hat, right click it and just say fill each two steps. What that's going to do is every other step, it'll go ahead and automatically light up for you. It just saves you a couple seconds so you don't have to go through and light these up individually. So let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. Right. The last thing I did was add one more beat uh, for the hat section. So it gave it that little bit of kind of a sound. So you hear what that sounds like. And one question I did see pretty frequently was how to speed up and slow down a song. By default, you'll see up here that it is 130 beats per minute. That's what that 130 stands for. For this particular tutorial, I slowed it down to 120 intentionally. There are two ways to do that. One is to use your scroll wheel with your mouse hovered over it. If you'll notice, there is an up and down arrow key when you do hover over the 130. So if I use the scroll down, it'll slowly go down. Or if I scroll up, it'll go back up. For this particular beat, we'll go ahead and bring it from 130 and just scroll down to about 120. And you'll see that just slows it down a little bit. I'll actually do it in real time. You can hear what it sounds like. So it's at 130 now. I'll go ahead and click play. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down. See what that does? 
Another thing to do is uh, if you want to hold down the left click, you can speed it up pretty quick. A lot of trance songs are about 160. So, and a lot of other hip hop and beats like that can be fast or slow, it doesn't really matter. But I went ahead and made this one slow. That was pretty basic, just to give you an idea where everything's laid out. The final thing I'll do for this tutorial is add it to the track one here. And if you'll notice, this entire project we've done so far is on pattern one. Up here where it says the play button, if you left click, we're all on pattern one. Right there on pattern one. If you scroll up to pattern two, it's completely silent, which I think I had a couple questions about why they couldn't play pattern two. Um, there you go. So back on pattern one here, and this is where our entire beat is. Let's go ahead and do you see a little paintbrush that appears when you hover over the track one section? Go ahead and left click. That's going to put our entire pattern that we created, which is very short, obviously, it just repeats itself here in the first slot in pattern one. So if you left click, hold it down, you can drag it across as infinitely long as you want it to. Instead of just doing the pattern, now you can do the song. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. The next tutorial, I'll actually build upon this and kind of add a baseline to it. Very simple, and I'll work with slides and how to add a couple different effects to each of the different channels. So we'll leave it at this. Thanks, guys.